Today we have to start to qualitative analysis. Uh, now in this topic first we are uh, starting that what is the meaning of this qualitative analysis. In was the deduction of cation and anion of a salt or or a mixture of salt for example we are having a unknown salt like copper sulfate and this copper sulfate salt is unknown for then uh, our aim is that uh, to detect the cation anion which is present in this salt. So if we are analyzing this salt then we are investigating that this salt contain, contain anion so sulfate that is SO4 2 minus and cation that is Cu2 plus. Uh, let's another example. If we are ha having a salt nickel chloride and uh, this salt is unknown. Now this salt contain anion Cl negative that is also called chloride and cation that is Na plus 2. Now uh, so this one is the single salt. Now if we are having the mixture of two salts like if we are having a salt uh, or a mixture of salt that contain uh, for example lead acetate that is PV CS3 C double whole plus copper nitrate. Now this is called a, not a salt it is a mixture of salt. So whenever we are having uh, two or more than two salts that is called a mixture of salt. Now uh, this mixture of salt contain how many anion? Now the anion in, the, in these two salts the anion becomes first become acetate that is CH3 C double negative and set, second become nitrate that is NO3 negative. So the mixture of these two salts contain two anions that one this one is acetate and this one is nitrate. Now I talk about cation. So mixture of these two salts contain cation that one is Pb plus 2 or lead plus 2 and the second one is copper plus 2. So this is called the uh, mixture of salt. Now in the qualitative analysis we have analysis one by one anion and cation which is present in a salt or a mixture of salt. So for the detection of cation and anion uh, we are using the some method so which we are following in the step by step. So first uh, we are using the uh, primary test for detection the anion and cation and uh, the primary test is completely depend upon the uh, physical state like color, order, smell, solubility and heating. So we are using first primary test that will, that will also called preliminary test. So first we are using the preliminary test. Yes, uh, the criteria for the preliminary test that become first stage, it may be depend upon physical appearance. That will the, uh, and in the physical appearance comes in this color and smell. And uh, the second criteria of the 
physical test that become the flame test. So, uh, we are using the criteria one by one. First, we are start from the uh, color or smell or density or delicacies. So, we make up the chart. Uh, here is the experiment. And the second one is what is the observation of this experiment. And third one is what is the result that is called inference. Now, start from color. If we are having the colorful salt and uh, if we are observe uh, that the color of the salt that is blue or blue is green that, then in that case there are possibility of the salt contain maybe two types of cation it may be copper plus 2 or it may be nickel plus 2 Similarly, if we are having the color is completely greenish or dark green, then this salt contains the cation, it may be nickel, nickel plus 2. Now, if the color of salt is lightest green, then this salt may be Fe plus 2. Now, if the salt having the color color of the salt is dark brown the salt it may be Fe plus 3 and uh, if the color of the salt is pink pink or violet then it may be cobalt plus 2 now if the color of the salt is buff color or flashy color or flash color Then salt may be Mn plus 2. Uh, if the color of the salt is white, then white color it shows the absence of no doubt copper plus 2.